Hey everybody, welcome back. This is part two of my clamp project where in the previous video I failed to make proper slots in these clamps, but we're back at it again in order to remedy that situation, so stick around. Hey everybody, this is Richard and welcome to part two of the low profile clamps for the milling vise. Now I want to state right off the bat that I just got this mill and I've never milled anything in my life aside from this project right here. This is not an instructional video teaching anybody how to run a mill because I don't know myself. I'm learning. It looks like we're centered up on the hole pretty good. So what the game plan is, rather than try and use a 5 16 end mill and hog out a slot, I'm going to move the work that way 5 16 and we're going to drill another hole right there. Whatever. But uh, now I'm going to go ahead and swap out this drill for a 5 16 end mill. And we're going to take out this little web in the center. And that should leave us a slot. Okay, I've got the fine feed engaged. So I think what we're going to do is just go ahead and whittle away at this thing because I don't think plunging down to take out that web is a good idea. I think that's a better looking slot than I got in part one of this series. So let's open up the vise and see if we made something from nothing or made nothing from something. Not really ecstatic about it not being perfect because I'm kind of a perfectionist, but it is what it is. So I'm going to put another one in and we're going to do the same thing. I'm going to do the rest of these off camera because I don't need to bore you with uh, milling three slots. You've already seen one. Hopefully the other two will turn out better. When, well, comparing side by side, the second one went a lot better. I wish the first one would have turned out like that, but I'm sure by the time I get good at this, all four is going to be done. I would go in and even all this out, but I need to leave as much meat over here as possible, so I'm just going to leave it. I'm going to use it as is. These are temporary clamps anyway. Just to hold the vise down for me to make steel ones. I was wanting all these slots to be the same length so it looks like a matched set and it's looking pretty good alright so let's move on to number four and hopefully we don't bozo that thing so let's put all four next to each other and see if we have a matched set they got a couple of problems but for a first milling job I will take it. I don't know, this one here, you can see that hole is off center. I don't know, this is the first one that I did, and that is really bothering me that this hole is 
off to the left of the slot a little bit. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put this back in the vise and I'm going to clean that up. Well, I don't know about you all, but it kind of aggravates me when things aren't perfect. And that one slot was really bugging the cool. And it looks like uh, I got it this time, so. Now, I call these low profile clamps but obviously that's not low profile. So, I'm going to end up making new studs because these things are not threaded in the center. Otherwise, I would just cut one of these in half. But uh, there's not enough thread there to really do what I need to do. So, I'm just going to make new ones. But as you crank down on that nut, it pulls down on the front and locks the vise down to the table. Okay, so after a long stressful operation making these things, it's time to give it a test run and see exactly how well these things hold down this vise. Is just to show you guys that I've got pressure on this indicator, I'm going to bring it up to zero. And without putting a, a break in the clip here, so you don't think I'm pulling a fast one. Let me try and get you a better angle. But we're on zero. And I'm going to try and twist this vise. And I'm actually putting a lot of pressure on this thing. I'm trying to twist it. And she's not going anywhere. Staying right on zero, which is what we like. So what do you think? Should I put a piece of metal in there and give her a whirl? Let's do it. Well, I would say the clamps did very well, and hopefully these aluminum ones are going to be strong enough to allow me to make some steel ones. I'm going to go over to the lathe and make some uh, shorter studs for these things, so I don't have these uh, 4 or 5 inch ones sticking up. They don't need to be that tall. I'm not going to include that in this video, it's just going to be some uh, threading on the lathe. I thought about putting it in, but uh, the brunt of this project was making some clamps. So we're just going to leave it at that. But 
This is Richard and I certainly appreciate you watching this project. I realize I'm not the best milling machinist in the world. I'm brand new to it but I wanted to share with you my struggle in learning how to mill by making clamps for this vise that uh, Ron Deek was so kind to give the channel. So Ron thank you very much. I've got your vise held down firmly to the table and as always thanks for watching